to the channel and welcome back to another live. What are we calling this? Like a, it's not an unboxing. It's more like a unveiling a new bike for the channel. This is a bike from Electric Bike Company. I'm not going to take the cover off yet. I know you guys can already see kind of like the colors and everything. But uh, who's all who's all in the in the chat right now? Let's say hi to everybody. RV Billy, let's get it there going. There he is. He made it. <laughs> Super excited to watch this. My local bike shop has a huge selection of sick paint job electric bike company bikes. Nice. I love the customization on this. Matt the mechanic is here. For those of you that were in a stream yesterday, he's the one that knocked it off. But uh, he says sorry, right? <laughs> Never. <laughs> But Matt the Mechanic is here to save the day once we start struggling with Shreddy. <laughs> we'll talk about more about the yeah, single hubs or... And I think somebody, uh, Electric Bike Company, should be in the chat right now or maybe later on in the stream. So if you do see their YouTube channel in here, make sure you subscribe to them, guys. And uh, also, if you have any questions about this bike that I can't answer, definitely make sure you uh, shoot out a question to them, guys. Did I un unveil it? <laughs> Any questions? Any Show questions? The bike. Show the bike already? How many people we got in here? Show Let's get 10, 10 likes and I'll show us the bike. You have 10 likes. Yeah, you 10 have, likes already? You still have to do the worm from 100 likes. Oh man, I, I did the worm the other day and I broke my back. That's why I can't walk anymore. <laughs> Bulletproof, RV Billy the Scarecrow, Crispy. Scarecrow, what's, up? what's Hand going up? on, guys? Death Rock, Madison. Hey, Shredhead. Death Rock, what's going on? Who's excited for the reveal? <laughs> Matt the Mechanic's going to help me check my nuts too, right? Boom, show the bike, show the bike, show the bike. <laughs> All right, here it is. So this is a custom color that actually um, I wanted Army Green and D helped me pick this out. It's, it's really cool about this, this company that I can literally have like 10 different colors on this bike if I wanted to, but we decided to go with like an Army Green color. D found the color code for this exact color. We told him the color code and they made the bike that exact color, but this is an army green for a Toyota truck. So if I ever get a Toyota truck, my bike will match it. So <laughs> here it is. Let me move this. We're gonna install this later too. It's like a little rear uh, rack bag for it. So let's, uh, I guess we can kind of un <laughs> unwrap it. There we go. Oh, this is like a, a good feeling. Here. Ah, yeah. That's nice. And then if you need like a lint remover after your, <laughs> That works really well. Awesome. Do you want to help me remove some stuff, Matt the Mechanic? You want to unwrap the back back there? <laughs> oh, that's nice. Here, I got you, dog. All right. <laughs> nice, nice color. Thank you, guys. I really, really love the, the color of that. It, it's kind of almost on the same level as the Huck. <laughs> but the Huck is more of like a flat, flat army green. Is that all we got? Yeah, you oh. the hardest part. We got stuff in the basket, actually. So there's some tools in here, which is pretty cool. I didn't even know we had the tools. There's instruction manual. Um, you might want to read it this time. Yeah, you know, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe go through the quick start guide. Matt, the mechanic, you want to look at that? See if you see anything important that we might need. And if we don't, we're just going to turn this sucker on and rip but not before we check our nuts. We're excited to present you with your new custom built electric bike. We sincerely hope that you love riding your new bike as much as we love building it. Thank you so much for, for choosing Electric Bike Company. Sean Lupton Smith and, the, and Team EBC. Thank you guys, you guys are awesome. Super stoked at that color though. The pictures in here are great. <laughs> Can you show them to the camera, any, any good ones? Like, just look at her guys. <laughs> she is just, she's just, she's loving Oh, life. she loves that bike. She's like, dude, this bike is nice, just so huge nice. pictures for us that can't see. Oh. Nice. So, Eddie, where are they located? They are located in Newport Beach, California. Next time I go out to California, I'm going to come visit you guys. Look at that. It comes with little, little snippies. Is that for, like, zip ties? Little... Could be. I like that. Thank you, EBC. All right, so it's pretty basic. With all the tools you come with. So then we can check our nuts with all this. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, and it comes with an anti theft alarm. So if you guys are interested in this bicycle, use code SHREDDY50, get $50 off. And it also comes with an anti theft alarm, which is pretty cool. Oh, check that out. 
It has a freaking key fob. <laughs> and then the little keys for it. Does it work? That's awesome. Oh no, cover your ears, D. I don't think it's on. Did you turn the battery on? Oh. I don't know. Is the battery in? This battery? Let me pull the thing out. Lock. <laughs> oh, the alarm, that's oh, nice. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Unlock. Yeah, oh my God, loud. that is really loud. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Okay, let me turn this off just in case I, I hit the throttle by accident. So that is pretty cool and it comes with the, that's pretty nice too. Little. Dude, your summons all the birds, they're chirping right now. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh, and here's a charger. I haven't even opened that. Awesome. What do you guys think? A three amp charger is going to be in here? Or five amp? Do you see EBC in the chat yet? Oh, that's that, the, the neighbor, the kid. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say two amps. Two amps? Well, let's see. Let's see. That's cool. It comes with two Did you tell everyone bombs. that it's American made? Yes. Yeah, so um, the whole bike is American made, but with sor uh, sources of not of American made. <laughs> they source their parts from other places. I was gonna read everything. I'm gonna read that, that's actually in. They get it in China and assemble it in USA, so they call it USA made. US made, but they source the parts elsewhere. Well, everyone does. Hold on, there it is, that's, that's what I was looking for. US made with global materials, that's what they were saying. Looks like a nice. Did you guys see Eddie's reel earlier? How you can custom select the color for the bike frame, the fenders, the bike rack, the basket, the oh, seat, the handlebars. It's really cool. Yeah, the charger comes with like little fuses. So it's like a three and a half amp charger. It says 3.5 3 to four amp. So four amp, pretty much. Pretty much a four amp charger. And the connector looks a little different than what I'm used to. That's cool. All right. And this one does not have gears. So this is like a single, single gear. They call it the rugged edition. So uh, you can get seven speed on there if you want. So I figured I, I just wanted the single gear because it's the rugged edition. It's meant to go like off road on the beach. I, I'm going to beat the heck of, out of this thing and see what it can handle. I'm liking the bigger, uh, I guess these are like what, three inch tires? A little fatter, nice for the, for the beach. Are these uh, 26 inch rims on here also? Because I'm pretty sure you can do like, you can choose to get smaller rims on here. Yeah, 26 by three inch are the tires. Um, and on top of that, I chose to upgrade to a 14 amp hour battery here. I think the standard is around 10 amp hours. I'll, I'll, I'll go through all the specs after we check all the nuts and everything. And then I opted for the single battery here uh, it's a 10.2 amp hour battery, but if you want, you can get two 10.2 amp hour batteries stacked. Uh, I'm not sure about how they upgrade it, or say you got one and you want to upgrade to a second battery in the future. I'm not sure how that works out, but it looks like all your connectors are right here, and they look pretty waterproof. Look at that, Matt. What do you think about? I like it. Really, really good work with their their connect connectors and everything. Um, yeah, it's all heat shrunk. Yeah, so it's gonna be pretty waterproof for the beach. And uh, just so you guys know, this bike did come just like this in a huge, huge box. Um, I didn't have room for the box in the garage to do that, so I took it out and threw, it, threw the box away. The box was a little bit beat up from the freight company, but to my surprise, this thing was so packed up so nicely with these big foam pads, there was zero damage on the bike. So I'm pretty happy with how it came out of that box. Um, I wish the freight company would have done a little bit better job at handling the box, but not EBC's fault. They did an awesome job at packaging the bike, so it came out great. And they have videos of how they pack the bike on their website, right? Yeah, when I do like a first ride and review, I'll, I'll do like a little clips of their facility showing how they do all their work in there. But uh, so now I guess we can start checking some nuts. Matt, the mechanic, do you want to help me check my nuts? <laughs> not these ones, these ones down here. <laughs> So I'm going to take these ones. Yeah. I'll take these ones. Do you want to use these ones or these ones? Yeah, these ones? For, okay. Yeah, for your stem. Okay. I'm going to start back here. Do you want to start in the front? They said, what's up with the handlebars? 
the handlebars, we got to loosen the, the, we call that the stem. Thea, you can come in here so you can see like what you got to do when, uh, I've never seen a stem like this to tell you the truth. I've never used one. So Matt, tell us what you're doing with the handlebars. So he's trying to line them up with the wheel. So. I don't, I don't even know when it's straight. It's hard to tell. So five and six. So Does it have a riser down here? Oh, yeah. It's just a cap. So Shreddy usually assembles all of his bikes, but this bike came pretty much put together. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look how high it can go. I like that. That's like a riser in itself. So how, how high should I get it? Go? Let me sit. You want to do can that? I pull this up a little bit? Yeah, well, this, this is, I gotta loosen that. This oh. I think like, can I move it up, you think? Yeah, so okay. there's, there's Ooh. <laughs> different, uh, di oh, that's actually pretty cool too. What happened? Oh, I can raise the freaking bars? Yeah, a little bit. Shreddy's bike. That's crazy. I don't want to raise it too high. I think just like raising this yeah, like to here, and then, yeah. and then so we could rise these up. Bulletproof said those handlebars are sweet. Looks like the ones on an old motorcycle. Yeah, I've, I've never ever used bars like this or ridden a bike that has bars like this. It's kind of cool. Neighbors are always like, damn, they're streaming again. <laughs> All right, twist it up. Yeah. Wow, this is such a chilling position. That's awesome. Should I go higher? No, no. I think like that, because I want my wrist to be kind of like, yeah, right there. Perfect. Do you want me to move the screen in? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't move. Do I look proper? Nice and straight. My back I feels nice and straight. <laughs> Do a little proper, guys. Guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the bike. It's Do hard you think it matches see. my personality? It's hard to see with all the bikes behind there. Maybe we should go out and put the garage door down. <laughs> yeah, we can bring it out. Once we get the bars on, I don't, I don't okay. think I'll be able to so turn it just yet. Bike better. And I still got to check all my nuts. <laughs> all right, uh, is it center? Yeah, it feels good. Or no, actually, I don't know. <laughs> Loon, we back. Do you got the right camera? There. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have the camera, guys. Don't worry. Come on now. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Yeah, they said that looks comfy. It looks feels the the seat is very comfortable. The bike in person is so nice looking. Now, but from a distance, it doesn't look that great. What do you mean? Well, as far as it looks, yeah, but like when you afar, you're like, oh, it's just a normal bike. But when you start handling stuff. It's actually not bad quality. It's yeah, it's pretty pretty high quality. I think it looks way it really feels. high quality. It feels like a solid bike, dude. It really does. Brian McCann said it's dark green. Shreddy's, Shreddy's going to smoke it. <laughs> That's probably another reason why I chose this color. Look at that, dude. I'm loving it. So it does have a switch here for the battery. And I don't know how to turn I'm guessing this battery is always gonna be powered on. That's the charger. Yeah. I don't see a power switch for this battery though. Yeah. RV Billy, my lower back would love that bike. It does look really comfortable. Check your nuts. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's all good. You're still the man, bro. <laughs> I think there's keys under here too, by the way, guys. Bullet yeah. Bulletproof said, does EBC sell those handlebars by themselves? Actually, I don't know uh, if they sell that in an accessory shop, but I, I, I would think that they would. EBC, are you guys in the chat yet? Help me. <laughs> I need to open their website. If you guys don't mind checking out their website, electricbikecompany.com, and seeing their accessories, what they sell, Here's let us bike. know. Fill us in. Oh, hold on. Do we check these nuts here? These nuts are really loose. My nuts are loose, Matt. My nuts. <laughs> oh, there we go. What size is this? Oh, wow. These were totally loose. Mr. Is Central that side driver. spinning? Mr. Central Driver, let's race mine first. Hey, dude, you're lucky you got the freaking uh, the dual uh, dual motor ones. So, are they they stopped making them temp temporarily? They did. I think they're like updating the, uh, the the setup that they have with it. I don't know if people were were getting hurt or what. Yeah, because a lot of people were asking. That's kind of weird. I'm not able to tighten that up. Sure. It's like kind of free spinning. 
Do you think it'll pull from this side or something? Two imps, they're saying? I would, I would hate for this. do a wheelie? Do a wheelie on this. I don't know about that. Does it feel like it's still staying? It says super awesome. Oh. I love that fat seat. I got to tighten up both sides at the same time, I think. Do you think it's stripped? Oh no, I'm hoping that th this doesn't fall off. The bottom's not, but yeah, the top one is. Yeah, this one's stripped. Um, you could probably fix that with longer screws all the way through. Okay, yes. See, I needed Math and Mechanic here. Math and Mechanic, you're such a savior, bro. All right, this one, the bottom's tightened up pretty good. RV Billy, what size tires are those? 20, did I say 26 by 3? Yeah, it's a nice size tire. Yeah. What's it not grabbing? Oh, I'll show you guys the emblem oh, yeah. on the back there seat, too. I had a push. Really nice. Oh, no. It felt like it grabbed for a second. Isn't that cool? I just don't want this to, like, pop it's off. It's embroidered on. Yeah, the seat looks really badass, guys. And, guys, don't forget, if you're not interested in this bike at all, all the bikes behind me, I do have links and review videos and range tests on most of those bikes back there. Richard R., those style bars are called beach bars on motorcycles. We're just going to leave that one. I think there's only one screw that's totally stripped. And it's Brian this said one. Loctite will tighten up the bolt. Do I have Loctite? I think I do. Loctite. You don't think? That's stripped. Let me see. <laughs> Let me take the washer off. Maybe it'll go, like will it go deeper. Thread. Madison said no handlebars sold separately in accessories. I think it's fine. You think it'll be good with that? Yeah, I'm just going to take the, the screw out because it's so loose. That the bottom one's pretty tight. I don't like want to lose tires. it. I don't want to lose that. Oh, all right. Where should I put my nuts, guys? Should I just leave it in here, I guess? Doesn't matter. All right. Did I check my rear nuts? Let me just check my nuts. I'm just gonna chuckle my fingers. <laughs> it feels tight. Science. <laughs> this is science. Okay, so this is another thing I forgot it's to tell you guys. <laughs> it's a one Guggen meter. <laughs> so this is the first e-bike I've ever owned that actually has a quick release. I'm a little bit weary about that, but I don't know. Comment down below, guys. Let me know what you guys think about having a quick release on an e-bike. That's a little iffy for me. What does that mean? Literally, I can I can pop that down and the tire will just come off. It'll be a lot easier to change your tires if you do get flats the like that. The lights on the basket are awesome. Yeah, so it does have a front uh, little headlight and the rear two little, uh, uh, I don't know if they're like blinker lights or if they actually work as brake lights or not. And then we're also going to unbox a little like bags for the rear rack. I gotta figure out how to mount that, but shouldn't be too hard. Brian McCann said, quick release, do not jump it. And guys, I'm hoping, uh, I wanna do a little like giveaway with these guys. If EBC's in the chat, let's do a little giveaway. Um, if you guys wanna go to their webpage, customize a rugged model and like pick all the cool colors or whatever, uh, tag me in your Instagram story with that exact bike and EBC, and then I'll pick like the coolest looking one and we'll send you like some kind of accessory like, like a bell or something. I got like a bell with a little light in here. But I don't know. If EBC sees this, let's get that started. That'll be fun. Um, did we check all the nuts? I, I think I did. We're good. <laughs> That's how you do it. Just check with your hands. This is a big freaking kickstand. Jeez. Very big kickstand. That's awesome. Is it made out of plastic? Yes, it is. It's a big... Oh, yeah, it's like metal and plastic. I don't know. Let's bring this out there so we can see it in the sunlight. Oh, wow, this thing feels so cool. Don't go too far from the house, see, because uh, the internet might not. Whoa, the basket is cool. It's so shiny. Wow, is this on? On. You guys want, you want to see the display? Let's turn it on. And I'm pretty sure 
I have to press and hold the down button to get the throttle or the pedal assist to work. One, oh, it's the pedal assist. See where it says pedal assist off? I hope one of this isn't like a walking mode. It's either down or up. Let's see, hold down and it goes off. Now the pedal assist is on. So by default, your pedal assist is always gonna be off on this. I guess that's some kind of safety feature so you don't like hit the pedal assist and it takes off on you. All right, should I try this? Oh, the other thing that I would have done would, would be turn that, the throttle a little bit down because if you can see like, that's just too high for my finger. I like, I like having the throttle down here when I'm like holding it full throttle. All right, here we go. Ooh, it's smooth. I love it. We're getting yeah, into the display really now. Nice. Like the quality of like the leather. Oh, okay. It looks, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks really nice. Okay, so this is actually pretty cool, Matt. I want you to try this. The pedal assist actually controls the throttle speed too. I've never had a bike that, do that does that. The faster you pedal. Well, um, say you're on, on pedal assist one, uh, the throttle is only going to go 10 miles an hour. Yeah, that's speed in mode. Yep. yep. I've actually never had a bike that controlled like that. It's usually the throttle is always on full blast and then your pedal assist is your pedal assist. The, the app does that. That's pretty cool. So you can get into this display and change like all different settings, but I haven't messed with any of that yet. We're gonna mess with it. Let's mess with it. William Slaga said, Do you want to try it? It's pretty cool. Don't hit my car. <laughs> it's weird having the basket like not turn with the steering. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so weird. <laughs> what about this, this, uh, slide oh, how do we turn it on? Is the tail lights on? Oh, look at that. Oh, look, it's a light in here. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Does it get brighter when you hit it? Oh, wow, yeah. the bike rack. These do, I think, light. right? Or no? No, no? That's pretty cool. There's a light on the freaking rack. That's so cool. Yeah, bring that closer and show everyone. He, he's trying it out. <laughs> So the, the bike does ride like really smooth and it, and it feels awesome. It does, it definitely feels comfortable and having that front suspension, you can definitely feel it. It feels comfy and you can get like a, an updated uh, seat with a spring in it. I think they call it like the Satori uh, suspension or something. Oh, Matt just jumped it. You're crazy, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> what do you think? Should we raise the seat up? It's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's like your typical coming back. You're not the... using it like a step through, like that. No. Step through. That's how. When we're when we're like ten years older, so I'm gonna get off the bikes like that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's show them the bike rack um, light. Are they exactly that's so. Cool. Oh, okay. Um, what does it say for pressure? Uh, Rated for. Feels good. Maybe it's good. Yeah, it feels good. Let me feel, hold on, let me feel the pedal assist really quick. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it feels really smooth. Too. So let's pull up yeah, so their web page and go over the specs. I'm pretty sure this is like a 750 so watt motor. I don't know what the, the top website. speed is gonna be on this bike yet. My or guess is gonna be around 28 miles an hour. Oh, is he talking and I'm talking? Oh, you were Sorry, talking? I didn't know That's you were all talking. Good. It's nice having that basket. That's so weird, like turning and not it's, having uh, the basket turn. It's definitely like we're going to pass Keith's bike. Yeah, this is like a cruising around the beach, have fun, throw all your stuff in there. Get, yeah, like I said, pizza. Man, I'd go fishing on this thing. Put some freaking fishing rod holders on the front. And then you got the rear rack. You could put your uh, cooler on the back. That's really cool. Let's check out that rear rack they gave me. I think I said I wanted to go over like specs. I think I'm pretty sure this is uh, the 750. Yeah, go over Let's the specs. Um, do you have my other phone, D? Or are you reading the comments on that one? No, you can have it. Where is it? The big phone. D. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, it might die soon. <laughs> can you guys hear me now? electricbikecompany.com
So this is the Model R, the rugged one. So this is supposedly designed to be your rugged bike to take off road and, <laughs> and go places. So we're gonna learn more about it. We're definitely gonna test that. Yeah, we're, we're taking it off road or we're taking it on the beach. Oh, we're gonna have fun with it. So it says uh, 20 mile an hour with throttle, but 28 mile an hour with pedal assist. But me, I'm pretty sure that you can make the throttle go 28 miles an hour in the settings on the display. Um, it says up to 150 mile range, but all that is depending on your battery setup. Arrives fully built. This bike does have a 380 pound load capacity, so you can be up to 380 pounds and sit on this bad boy. Or maybe carry up to 380 pounds of, of luggage or something, <laughs> which would be crazy. So they say the Model R sets itself apart from, with its truly hybrid performance. On and off-road abilities make this electric bike the most versatile on the market. It's simply fun and radical to ride. I like, I like the word radical, I dig that. Radical. Radical. So these tires, they are supposed to be premium puncture resistance tire, resistant tires uh, with exclusive APS, which means anti-puncture system technologies with three millimeters of protection between a tread. Are you gonna pop my tire and case it? <laughs> if you have maximum pu puncture resistance, the impenetrable tire successfully defiles all foreign objects from getting into the inner tube below. You can go anywhere, anytime, no worries. But I, I still think I'd put like maybe some kind of tire liner in there just in case. Uh, it's aluminum 6061 hydro formed frame. I don't even know what that means, a hydro formed, like by water. It's formed with water. Hydro, hydro. Is Sounds like water, right? But it's formed? Hydro formed frame. Do you guys know what that means? Comment down below. It's, it's really smooth, so I would think it's for finishing. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. Just, just taking a guess. I'm having a, a little brain fart. Oh, if. Um, Mr. Central Drivers, if you're still in a chat, bro, you gotta come up, up to the East Coast and hang out with us. He has a very fast Sir on also, so I, I would love to hang out with him sometime. Not fast enough. Oh no, his is pretty fast. <laughs> Constructed via a seven step process, including painting, cleaning, base primer, three coats of paint, and two coats of clear sealant. Jesus, I didn't yeah, know that was I that think much. That's why this paint job, it looks more like a car. Professional. Like yeah. really well done than yeah. a bike, it's amazing. Like it looks really it's good. better done than most vehicles. Yeah. And then a, a heat treatment gives an extra strength and durability. It's really shiny. The frames are constructed to ensure neat and hidden wiring, if you, as you guys can see at the beginning, I showed you guys. Um, while still looking classic, strong patent pendant, uh, pending front bracket allows for cargo adaption and brake assembly, or in basket assembly, sorry, which ensuring secure handlebar functions while most frames are 1.5 mil this is actually good to know while most frames are 1.5 millimeters thick we double that in most areas to three millimeters for sturdiness cool. yeah that's good to know that's actually really good to know guys you guys are kicking ass on this bike so far um so here's the bike components i'm going to tell you like each battery uh that they have so they have you can go 60 miles with their 12 amp hour battery which is the standard battery that comes in here 100 miles with the 21 amp hours, which what I, what I have with the 14 here, and then the 10.2 uh, here, uh, and then the 30 amp hour, which you have the 14 and the 210s up here. Uh, EBC approved certified lithium ion NMC cells with a five year warranty, which is awesome. I think the frame has like a five or 10 year warranty also. So let me see. Uh, battery charger, I already showed you that. Uh, the brakes are Tektro. E530 hydraulic brakes with safety electrical motor disconnect wiring. So the brake, I'm guessing that's brake cutoff sensors. Uh, brake levers, aluminum alloy comfort grip levers with motor cutoff switch. That's a motor cutoff switch. So I don't know what that safety electrical motor disconnect wiring. Um, so I haven't heard anti -spark. that. Anti-spark. Anti-spark. Like some of the Suron plugs have anti-spark. So yeah. you plug it in, there's still voltage or unplug it. Oh. It's, uh, it prevents um, yeah, the plug in shorting. From gotcha. Center. So the brake orders are 180 millimeters stainless steel front and rear. The chains is stainless steel for longevity. Um, crank set is a 58 tooth, uh, 170 millimeter forged alloy, dual sided aluminum bash guard. I don't have a bash guard though. Nope. <laughs> uh, drivetrain. I don't have that. I got I have, this direct speed. What's that, D? I don't know. 
That's your best. Make eye contact. Oh, hi guys. I'm I'm looking down at my screen like trying to read everything, guys. D likes giving me sign language. I don't <laughs> understand sign language. I'm I just understand English and, and Spanish. That's about it. Um, so all right, I'm gonna try to look at you guys while looking at the screen at the same exact time. The free wheel is the 18T cog for medium to hilly terrain. The fork, it's actually adjustable and you can lock it out. So it's a suspension fork with a hydraulic lockout and preload adjustment. Turn the lockout at any time when riding, 80 millimeters of travel, 135 millimeter hub with nine millimeter quick release. You guys taking off? Yeah. Matt the mechanic and Allison say bye. <laughs> Bye, you guys. See you guys. See ya. The next one. High five. <laughs> See ya. So you can get a GPS tracker. Also, it's optional. I think it's like 300 bucks or something like that. I'm not really 100% sure if you guys want to check out their uh, accessory shop. The grips are hand-stitched leather secure ends for non-slip. Handlebars, the aluminum cruiser bars, as you guys saw earlier. It's pretty cool that you can raise the bars, too. Or do I have to tighten that down or something? The headset is a semi-integrated one and one eighth steel steerer tube. What's that? Hey, you want my you want my autograph, bro? The the kickstand is a non-slip sole and wide reinforced rubber foot. Prevent slipping and sinking. The LCD screen is a multi-level compact user-friendly screen with USB outlets. Let's get past the lights. Front and rear safety lights. We already showed you that. Uh, Deagle, like this, you got to fly on your head. <laughs> It's one of the ones that bites too. Uh, <laughs> oh so, all right, now we're getting to the motor, guys. The motors. Once we, once we get Show past us, the specs, where is the motor? I'll store everything. Right, right here, dude. Oh. You know where the motor is. 750 watt motor. So the motor does have a 10 year warranty on that, which is really good. And then, like I said, the battery's five year warranty. Always check with your local city and state requirements. I don't know what they mean. Uh, oh, I guess with the motor, 750 watt motor. How, uh, how many miles an hour does it go? It says 28 miles an hour with pedal assist, 20 miles an hour with the throttle, but I'm pretty sure I can go into the settings and tune and make the throttle go, go 28 to the full speed. I'm, I'm like getting going past some of the like stuff that doesn't really matter. Spokes are 13 gauge stainless steel, black or silver, so you can choose the, the color we of those. We chose black. Yeah, dude, that's right. I forgot we chose the color on that. The stem is 120 millimeter adjustable from zero to 60 degrees. Tires a custom. Uh, electric bike company, Rhinosaurus, <laughs> Rhinosaurus, Rhino C Rose 26 by three premium puncture resistance, as I already told you guys. So why don't you go through and show them each custom piece that you picked out so they know that they can pick it out themselves. Okay, well. yeah. So if you guys move into here, I did ask for the fenders front and rear. These are plastic fenders, so they can take a beating. I also got the rear uh, uh, rack additional. That way I can get the the bags put on the side there. Um, and then the colors, I just chose green for everything. So literally you can choose the color of the fork, the colors of your, um, I, just, I just, fenders, the colors of your fenders, the frame color, the basket color, the mesh uh, color on the basket, uh, your grip color, seat color. I mean, there's so many different customization options on this bike is, it's awesome to have, and the fact that they built build these right there in Newport Beach, California, like you can't beat that. Like the customization options on this bike is superb. I'm really happy about it. They have stock colors on their website for you to pick from, but he picked his own custom pan, like Pantone color. So this color is not on the website. It's just custom. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna read you guys some of their story. So they're built entirely in Newport Beach, California, like I said, with the global materials, made to order and completely customize, customize, customizable from color to branding to accessories. Factory direct to consumer business model, meaning no unnecessary markups like those that are placed on imported e-bikes, five-year warranty on a battery and 10-year warranty on the motor, which is awesome to have. So... So Brian McCann said Hydroform aluminum is stronger than aircraft grade aluminum. Oh, really? That's good to know. Thank you so much, Brian. I, I love just, your knowledge here on the channel. Like to you me, you help like, out so much. Yeah, I see like this bike looks like a car in person. Like it just looks amazing compared to like other. It does look pretty beautiful. E -bikes. Like really nice, well, like high quality, well made. And the fact that you can literally tell them your color code that you want, like say you want this to match the exact color of your car. 
find the color code, tell them what it is, and literally you have a matching bike that matches your car or whatever. So I think that's like, that's, that's so much fun. I think that's cool as hell. All right, let's, let's open this really quick. I, let, let me just stay here. I gotta figure out how to mount it. Where's Matt the mechanic when you need him? He shouldn't have left me. <laughs> so here's a little bag, or I guess it's a pretty big bag. This thing feels nice, actually. Oh, and I got a little bell also. I told them I needed a notification bell, so they sent me this. It has like a little light on the front. How cool is that? <laughs> Can you see it? No. <laughs> oh. oh, let me open it. I'll open it. Open it. Open it. Unwrap it. Oh, the light's already on. That's what it, oh, <laughs> it looks that's like nice. that. I don't even know how I turned it on though. That's a bell too. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So I'll just stick that so it's a light end over bell. here on the left side because yeah, really I'm nice. left handed. Oh, maybe I'll put it there since it's a light. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll do like the giveaway on that. So guys, don't forget, we're going to do a giveaway. Um, go to ebc.com. Customize your Model R, all the different colors that you want. Uh, go to Instagram, post it on your story, tag me, an electric bike company, and then I'll choose the, my favorite uh, customized bike by you guys, and then we'll, we'll throw you something cool. What do they win? Maybe, one of, maybe one of these cool lights or something. We'll see. I'll talk to EBC and, and see what they're willing to, to do a giveaway with. And if they end up buying a bike, what's their discount code? Use code SHREDDY50. You get $50 off this bike, and also you get the free alarm kit with it. Which is pretty shreddy. cool. How do you spell the S-H-R-E-D-D-I-E, -E, number five zero. <laughs> all one. All one word. Okay, so Whoa. What is this? Do I need to screw this on? I've, I've never, ever, ever, ever oh, that's nice. put one of these on before. So they, they have these on their website. Oh, man. I'm going to have to read instructions, guys. You just throw it on the back of the paper. I thought, like, literally you just put it on there. Like, it was going that. But there's like screws and stuff, and there's like, looks like there's like mounting points. <laughs> Look at this. That's crazy. I don't know. I'm going to have to read the instructions on how to do it. Brian said yes, use bolts. Yeah, that's what it looks like, yeah. Like, I don't know, like, what's this? Does it like just click in there? Like, am I, do I have to lift this up and put it <laughs> like that? That's not that it. But yeah, I think there, there's got to be some kind of... Let me see. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta unscrew this, take it off, and then screw it on there. We'll just leave it on there just to show you what it looks like, and then for my first ride and, and review, I'll have that on there already. What do you guys think about the look of that? That looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's nice. I dig it. Yeah, I don't wanna mess with having to, to learn how to do this live in front of you guys. It'll be, it'll be struggling with Shreddy for sure. <laughs> Is there, let's go through some questions now since Okay, I've been talking my butt off. I think people are probably uh, waiting for some, some answers here. Yeah, so Loon said that would be a really good Uber Eats bike. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Alfon I agree. Alfonso Tate, it can probably do 30 miles per hour unlocked. Okay. I'll, I'll go through the settings later on today and just see, like, what I can do to, to mess with all of this. So you're going to do a first ride and review and show yep. them how fast it is? Unless goes. Central Driver's in here and he can uh, show me how to unlock this thing. Anon Barky, David Littlefield. Hey, David hey, Littlefield. Very nice looking bike. Thank you, thank you. I love the color so much. Okay, so Brian McCann, hydroforming is a cost-effective way of shaping ductile metals such as aluminum, brass, low alloy steel, and stainless steel into lightweight, structural, stiff, and strong pieces. Oh, nice. That's awesome. So this is a pretty, like, solid bike then. I mean, it feels solid. It feels Madison solid. said YouTube search KTLTDAH2 program. KT LTDA. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Cut, cut. <laughs> all right, how do you, what do you think about this bike? It's beautiful. You like it? So this is all, this is a custom, custom color bike. So I, we, we found the color code and told them what to, to paint it. And so pretty much if you have like a car that you love the color of and you want your bike to match it, you, you can tell the company to, to paint it. Yeah. So this is like a beach style cruiser. It goes about 28 miles an hour. Really comfortable, nice step through frame, so it makes it a lot easier to, to get on and off. Beach, California. Yeah. Assembled in America. Yep. How many, how many grand is that? Uh, so that one, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure stock, just bone white, uh, no upgrades. It's about 2400 mm -hmm. But then when you start going into like upgrading the batteries, you can get bigger batteries. You're adding more, the hundreds and hundreds, depending on yeah, 
the style that you go with. I like the basket. Yeah, the basket is really cool. What's cool about the basket is that there's a, a battery in here too. You could opt to add two batteries or a single battery yeah. and then get a bigger battery here too. So this thing can go for, for miles. Miles, yep, and it's pretty waterproof. Like as you can see, all this stuff is is all sealed. The connectors are sealed, and and uh, I'm pretty sure like all the bearings are, are nicely and like you sealed. Pedal it just to yeah, pedaling. so you, you can even turn it off, pedal it. Um, so I you opted can pedal assist and throttle. Yep, pedal assist. You can use the throttle if you want. I opted uh, for no gears because I like riding more like in the woods a little bit, on the beach, and like bouncing around a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You can get seven speed on it and pedal it without power if you want so a lot of a lot of different options yeah yeah <laughs> yep yeah 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 oh we're, we're live right now <laughs> how many people are in here um hold on we have a pop-up 56 56 people awesome are you guys enjoying this bike this thing is sick so let's see they were saying let them ride it <laughs> i should have right you gotta, you gotta always, uh, you know, talk about e-bikes to your neighbors. That's, that's what e -bike I like about Mark. it. Hey, Shreddy from Oregon. Hey, what's going on, Oregon? How's Oregon? Is it always cold in Oregon or what? Small town smoker, hi. What's going on, small town smoker? Shreddy, are you gonna do a review of the Lyric Graffiti? Yes, I don't know how how soon I'm gonna be getting that, but I'm definitely gonna be getting that that bike. Uh, and I'm super excited to try that bike out. That thing goes like 45 or 50. But we'll see. I'm, I'm super excited to try that. And them guys are actually going to be coming to Lewis Beach to hang out with us. Brian McCann, will Shreddy sell me his Barlet Eagle 1 for half the price? <laughs> Maybe. You going to come down and pick it up? Brian, we're going to have a few Kugo scooters. If you yeah, I actually got a new Kugo right behind D. So we're going to be unboxing that on the channel live soon. Mr. Central Driver, I need that bag. Oh, the, yeah, the back nice. bag? Yeah, hit them up, dude. They'll, they'll send it to you right away, man. That, that freaking rear bag is awesome. I just don't want to struggle and put it on in front of you guys right now. You can do it on a Mod Monday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, we'll save that for a Mod Monday. That way I can study how to get it on there. David Littlefield, I like the saddlebags. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me uh, just stick them back on. That way you can. Brian McCann, Shreddy Will transporting edibles. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to be a weed delivery man on the EBC bike? <laughs> Richard Polgan, so, so far, what's your favorite bike you like to ride the most out of all your bikes? Shoot. Oh, so recently, recently... I've been on a wheelie craze. Is that sun messing with the camera at all? I've been on a wheelie craze, so I've been riding my Super 73 RX like, like crazy, just cause like all I can think about, I don't know why I'm like so crazy about wheelies now, but that's all I can think about. Like every time I think like, I'm gonna go ride a bike, I hop on a Super and then just pop it straight up and ride wheelies. So right now I'm on a wheelie craze, so I've been rocking the Super for a little bit. He has a different favorite bike every week, depending yeah, it, on what he's doing. It depends on how I feel that day. <laughs> This, this bag is actually really nice. I'm sorry I didn't show this to you guys, but check that out. Look how spacious that is. I can actually bring it towards you. So it's kind of like, it has like its own little like sack in there. <laughs> sack. And then you can close it up like that. I'm wondering how waterproof this is. Like if you get stuck in like some kind of down, downpour. That's cool. Look, seems like you could put like your little drinks on the side or like battery chargers, whatever. Is it the same on both sides? Yep. What's in here? Nothing. Ah! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he jumped. <laughs> What's this? Oh, something else that I probably got to figure out how to make work with it. <laughs> but yeah, not not a bad freaking rack bag. I like Loon's it. Loon's bagging up. Who it? Loon's bagging up. Yeah. Oh. So actually what, what I like about the way this is set up like this, it, it seems like you can still put something on top of the rack and strap it down. So this could be a definitely like awesome cargo type bike. Ch make this your car. <laughs> is, what, what are you laughing at, Lou? Are you laughing at me? <laughs> Making D jump. Wilson Martinez, hey Shardy, love from Connecticut. Just here to support the channel. Oh, thank you so much for hanging out, brother. Connecticut. Daddy Love, say what's yeah, up what to is the weight for the back rack? The weight? Did he say what's the weight for it? Yes. Or, I don't even know what, what this can handle. Does it say max? Max is tw 27 kilograms. What is that in pounds, guys? 
Brian McCann, add S and H, and I'll get you a money order. S and H. <laughs> Loon said, "Bro, you got me." LOL. He thought someone got your hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Can you, Mr. Central Driver? Can you sit in the basket and test the weight for us? Uh, all right. <laughs> Oh, Alfon no, that's bending. <laughs> Alfonso Tate said they have a rear rack battery, too. Actually, that feels kind of strong. Hold on. We'll put them on the back bike rack and in the basket. <laughs> it feels pretty pretty beast. I, I don't want to sit on it because I'm bending the hell out of that thing. Dude, uh, uh, they, they have a rear battery? That'd be crazy. Dude, imagine having, like, two batteries in the front, one battery here, battery back here. Dude, you can go for freaking ever on this bike. And I'm wondering if I could just add another battery myself down here. I probably could just hit up Bob or Marv. He'll hook this thing up. Oh, check. So I didn't even notice this. There's on this bike, it has three charging points. There's a charging point on the side, on the opposite side of this right here. There's one right here. Like it'd be right here on, on the side that I'm on. And then there's one underneath the basket. I don't know why there's three charging points ports and I don't know if I'm going to use one to charge them all or do I have to like charge this battery first and then charge this one I don't I don't know about that yet so I'm <laughs> EBC if you're in here help Shreddy out and I think I got to raise this seat up a little bit too Ben EMTB since you have a cargo on your new e-bike I was wondering you put pegs on your e-bike for passenger on this one yeah would I would I put pegs on this for a passenger? I, I, not this type of bike, probably not. I don't think so. Something like the moped style bikes that I have behind have D. Seat, yeah. 100%. Something like this, I think it's just like a one person. RV Billy, D, ride the bike. I don't, D can't, I don't even know if the seat all the way down would fit. Oh yeah, Daddy Love, D, will you try out the bike? Oh, you everyone's saying how much does it run with a custom paint? Do you want to see if you can fit on that? The driver said 299. You want to try it? Oh, oh, for people just joining, what is the bike and the price? This is uh, Electric Bike Company's a Model R, and I, I'm pretty sure the stock price with all white, no, no battery upgrades, is about $2,400. $2,499, uh, just all white, one color, no uh, upgraded battery, and I don't think it comes with a basket, so it'll be like... Uh, well, it wouldn't, I don't know if it'd be yellow, but it would look like that with really nothing on it. So their bikes are fully customizable. So you pick your own color for each and every, the paint, the fenders, the seats, the basket. Yeah, so let, let me show them just like some other uh, options that they have with different colors and everything. That's the all white one. That's like the stock one. You can do like crazy cool colors. And what's really cool. Your, um, discount code. So if you guys are interested in buying a bike from electricbikecompany.com, use code Shreddy50. You save fifty dollars, and on top of that, they give you the alarm kit for free, or not well, for free really, but it comes with the discount code. Oh, I would definitely. Do you want to try to sit bike. on it? Do you think you can sit on this? Yeah. If you could fit on this That's bike, low. this would be a good bike for you to ride because it's not like like too torquey. Um, the the Zoos. 750 is so torquey, I'm scared that, uh, for D to ride that bike. This bike is little... I don't know. I'll just sit on it. I don't know like how to like push the throttle or anything yet. It's off, so it's all good. So step your leg through the frame. Your, your right leg. There you go. Oh, so it's a little bit high, but not if I have sneakers. And plus you're on a hill right now, so your right leg is yeah. going to be lower because you're on a hill. Oops, my bra's in here now. That's, that's almost <laughs> like the zoos. That's almost like the zoos, right? Yeah, it's like the same height as the zoos. Not bad. Are you good? Let me see what you look like. Yeah. Wow, that bike is so big for you. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of big, right? Let me get your legs in it. Yeah. I think it comes in different sizes, though. Yeah. That kickstand is the size of a nightstick. Yeah, it is a big ass kickstand. Dude. I think the bike's a little too, like a little too like big for me. That that well the model. But this R is, is the guy like more or like a, a shreddy bike. <laughs> the bike does look cool though. I love the way that thing looks. It looks really cool. Get in the basket. Do you think that basket? No, because I'm missing a nut. The basket won't hold me. 
See that? <laughs> I'm going to have to rethread this, I guess, later on with Math and Mechanics showing me how to do this. Yeah, so the, the two top uh, nuts on my basket are totally <laughs> stripped. Uh, electric Bike Company is in the chat now. Hey, there they are. Oh, so what kind of questions did we have, guys? Can you remind me? There was some questions. Oh, so EBC, we got three charging ports on, on this bike. Is there a main one that we'd want to charge? Or do you want to charge like this port first and then the battery? Or does one port charge everything together with the power on the basket? Um, and also the other question was, um, so EBC, if somebody were to purchase this bike, say they got just the single battery in the basket and then somewhere down the line they wanted to upgrade to the second battery so they can go for the 30 amp hours, is that something that would be easy to um, mod yourself or, or, or do yourself? Is that something you guys sell on the website also? And then somebody also asked earlier if you guys sell these handlebars by themselves on the website. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. <laughs> I'll slow down. There's one more thing too. I was, I was hoping you guys would help me out with a fun little giveaway on uh, Instagram. Tons of people are riding 60 pounds. Is that the weight of the bike? I, I don't think the weight of this bike is 60 pounds. Well, it's pretty light. <laughs> um, and a quick question. From EBC, what's the weight of this bike? David Littlefield, is there a handle on the top of the saddlebag to carry it like a briefcase? Yes, yes. Actually, that's really cool. So I guess like if you want to go grocery shopping, you can <laughs> take this and be out. Like, like a briefcase. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's really cool. But yeah, yeah, like a briefcase or like I said, like you can use this, throw it in your shopping cart, fill it up with your stuff, come outside, boop, boop, lock it in. I don't know how it locks in just yet, but we'll figure it out later. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. I'm loving this. Electric this bike. bike Company. Yes, use both front charging ports. Okay. The third one under the basket is for upgrades, diagnoses, etc. So don't worry about that one under the basket. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then the one thing is, do you guys have, would you guys happen to have any longer, would you guys happen to have any longer screws for the basket? Um, Mine ended up, I don't think they're long enough, so the top ones are like kind of like free spinning in there. Um, I don't know if I need like longer screws or not for that. Mr. Central Driver, get in the basket, Shreddy. Get in the basket. Electric Bike Company, you can change to 24 inch tires for smaller riders. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot about that, D. Yes, yeah, so if you did want one of these bikes, you can get the 24 inch tires. Yes, they're all saying I need a hot pink version. And then having smaller smaller tires, correct me if I'm wrong, you get a little bit more torque having smaller tires. Oh, okay. Electric Bike Company, if you're shorter than 5'4", you can choose 24 inches. Yeah, so I'm 5'2". That'd guys. be perfect for you, D. So then if you have someone, you have 5'4", under, your girlfriends or shorter riders, the 24 inches is great. Okay, and the, the other thing that I had that I wanted to tell EBC was uh, I wanted to do like a cool little giveaway like on my Instagram. Uh, I was telling everybody to go to your website, uh, find the Model R, customize it to your crazy liking, to the craziest style that you want. Um, tag me and you guys, EBC, in their story, and then I'll pick like the coolest custom looking one that I like. And then if you guys don't mind, maybe we can do some kind of like accessory giveaway if you want to do like a giveaway with one of these or whatever um, i think that would be a really cool fun giveaway uh to do so if you guys want to do that that'd be awesome <laughs> and that's the bell that's also like a light yeah i love that thing that thing's so cool <laughs> so that's cool so i use both ports to charge it awesome okay so let's see um electric bike company Yes, just obvious ports. Don't worry about port under the basket. Oh, sorry, I said that. Um, yeah, yeah. Yes, so you can add up to 20 AM, 20 amp, so about 60 miles to front basket. Um, oh, yeah, so you can do two batteries. Uh, I think they're, what, 10.2 amp hour batteries, um, 48 volt. And then the middle one stock is, what, 12 amp he, hours, and this one's upgraded to 14 amp hours. Kijo Gello said, what's the range? You're gonna the, test that out in a video. Yeah, right? we're gonna test that out. We'll, we'll do a, we'll, we're gonna do a full throttle range test on this with uh, all the batteries on. We're, we'll see how far we can get. Um, 
And oh yeah, the one uh, other question I had, EBC, um, is, is there a way for me to tune the throttle to hit 28 miles an hour also along with the pedal assist? That's the other question that I had. Or if you guys maybe could send me the settings on how to do that, it would be awesome. Oh, they're saying the back rack has a 60 pound limit, okay. Oh, okay. Electric bike company, weight is around 56 pounds standard and when you add all the other items, it, can, it will go up in weight. Yeah. Yeah, especially the batteries. Batteries, lithium batteries are definitely not light. Electric bike company, yes, we can send you longer ones and replacement bolts. But I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Electric bike company, we were saying we love, like it's so high quality, the paint job and just everything. Like it looks like the paint job of like a really nice car. Yeah, the thickness uh, of, the, of the frame and then somebody explained to us what the hydro forming was. That's awesome, that, that makes the frame a lot stronger than it is. That's what I love about like having this channel is the fact that I'm learning from, from you guys a lot. And sometimes I'm teaching other people from learning from you guys. So I don't know, I, I love doing this guys. <laughs> if you guys enjoy doing this as much as I do, please drop a like. Yeah, Mr. Central Driver said, um, have fun with the bike. It's great, have to see the colors in person. Come to Delaware, bro. Let's all hang out, man. We got a crew. We'll, we'll do oh, the crew of surrounds and the crew of EBC. overnight it to you. What's that? They'll overnight it to you. Oh, awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Great customer service, guys. Yep, definitely. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll fix that on the Mod Mondays, and then we'll slap this on on the Mod Mondays when Sa that comes in. San DeLorean. Looks like a nice cruiser. Sick color. Great back saddle bag. It is. Let me sit on it again. It's super comfortable. The seat is very comfortable. Like I said, they do have upgraded uh, like suspension seat if you want that. So they, they come with many different options on these bikes. But actually, let me try pedaling it without power. Hopefully this, let me just set this down. I don't want it to fall off. I haven't pedaled it without power yet. Oh yeah. Oh, Joe Biden's right above you guys. <laughs> Yeah, that, look, D, that's a president's helicopter. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's funny. He's sleeping in there. <laughs> yeah, so having a single gear definitely is a little bit harder to pedal. So something, if you do want to pedal a bike like this, add the seven speed on, it'll make it a lot easier to pedal. But That suspension is great. I love having the suspension on there. Yeah, this thing feels so solid. I love the way it feels. Questions, questions, guys. Electric Bike Company. The saddlebags has the MIK universal rack system, so it clips on and off easily. Oh, really? Is this something I could just do right now? <laughs> you got you to gotta teach me. There are cool instructions for the saddlebags on our website. Oh, really? Oh. In fact, you can add to the front basket. Oh, three batteries in there? Are you serious? <laughs> Extra in there. That's freaking amazing. Oh, did they answer? Is that something that the customer could do themselves when they want to add more? I don't know if, if they answered that question for me. What's the back and what's the front? Oh, it looks like it loops in there. Then... Sandra Lorian asks, is there, is there a way to make the battery basket universal for all e-bikes? Oh, that's a good question. Mr. Central Driver, 100%, the bikes are the best made around once you see it in person. I definitely agree. It I'll go to your website amazing. and do that. <laughs> Again, I'll just leave it on so people could see it because it does look cool. Like, I was surprised when the bike That's came cool. of how nice it was. Yeah. Like, the quality, the paint job. Yeah. It looks amazing. Like, the seat with the embroidery. And the fact that it comes pretty much totally assembled right out of the box. You can roll it right out. You can't beat that. That's awesome. Oh yeah, it did come more assembled than any other bike. Yeah, yeah. All you had to do is, is just turn the stem, like you guys saw at the beginning of the video, and then pull off some packaging, and check your nuts, like you always got to do. Always check your nuts, and then you're good to go. And uh, the one thing I haven't charged a battery yet, so we're still at 49.8 volts. Electric bike company. We are not allowed to increase power settings, but if you can figure out online, check with local laws before changing, so it is compliance with local laws. Okay. I think our top speed for uh, e-bikes in Delaware is supposed to be 20 miles an hour. I know some states do 28 miles an hour. Um, oh yeah, and the, uh, one more question, EBC. Uh, uh, there's one power button on the bike. Does that one power button control both batteries? 
or is the center battery like always on? Tons of people are asking about um, single hubs, dual motors. Oh yeah, ABC, so um, they did have the dual motor set up, um, but they ended up taking it off of the website. I guess they were gonna do some, some changes. But so, I don't know if you guys uh, uh, got that all together or, or figured it out and got it back on the website or not. But yeah, I remember people are definitely gonna be asking about that dual motor setup for sure. Electric bike company, the bike looks beautiful. I love it, I love it. I love it, it's like a military green. I mean, it looks like, it, like a car. <laughs> it literally looks like a car. Yeah, it does. It is a very nice bike. I can't wait to take this on the boardwalk or right down Rehoboth Ave and, and just see what people think about it. Brian McCann said I would choose a blazing orange color. They have a That's lot of cool. bright colors on Brian the McCann, website. Brian get, McCann, get on, on Instagram, tag me in, in the, the bike that you choose and, and we'll see if you win. David Littlefield, Shreddy, your enthusiasm is infectious. Thank you, David. You rock, brother. Hey, what do you guys think about throwing like an army, like, like a white army star or like a black art? Like, I want this to look like kind of like a tank or something because I love the color of this. And as you guys know, my dad was in the army. He retired sergeant major. And ever since I was a little kid, I've always loved army colors, army stuff, tanks, airplanes and stuff. So like, like the Huck, I put a black star on this, but I think a, a white star on this would look really cool and just kind of make it look a little military-ish. It looks so clean. I'm afraid to like do anything to it. it I don't know. So what does EBC think? Do you guys think it would look cool, kind of like tankish looking, like little little army emblems or something on it? I just I just love the look of that color. It looks so cool. Yeah, Daddy Love said the details are beautiful. Why don't you show them the seat again, too? Yeah. Show them the back of the seat. Um, hold on. Gotta pull up the kickstand. Electric bike company. Here's a link for the saddlebag attachment. Look at this seat, you guys. It's like it's embroidered amazing. with her logo on there. Really big. Like your bis my biscuits definitely fit on there pretty well. Let's see. Look at that. Ah, oh, just just cups your biscuits so nicely. <laughs> That's so cool. I, I I like the look of the saddlebags on there. I think this bike needs it. It makes it look so cool. I love how it the has rear light like here, that. like the, that was so surprising. Or EBC, I didn't know that you guys had the um, that rear light on there. Hold on, does it turn on right away? Oh, that was the alarm. <laughs> Is it gonna go off now? Hold on, we're okay. Does that make that noise when you turn on the bike? <laughs> Is the lights on yet? No, like yes. Dude, I had no clue that this bike did that. That's so badass. <laughs> And the little lights down here are really cool too. Do you think? Why don't you take the saddlebag off so we can see the other lights? Too? Yeah. Do you think the uh, the saddlebags might block that a little bit? Well, we can't see the back. Um, oh, no, that looks cool. Blinkers. And the fact that you have that there too, that's awesome. Yeah. So it has like back lights too. I love those there. That looks so neat. And then two that? little lights here. So that's great to have. Great visibility. And then let me flip it around and show you the headlight. The Chirp is the anti-theft alarm system. Yeah, that's great that you guys, it's a nice loud alarm system too. Oh, EBC, can you explain to us the uh, GPS tracker that you guys use on these bikes? And uh, what's the price for those? How, how do they work? Is it like a cookie crumb trail tracker? Is it like live tracking and everything? Um, can you guys see the headlight? <laughs> Sorry. That's so cool, the headlight is on the basket. On the basket, yeah. I Look love their logo too, it looks really neat. Electric bike company. Is there like high beam or low beam or anything? I think that's that's cool. And then uh, for you guys that are joining now, um, this when you turn the bike on automatically, the pedal assist on it is off. So to turn the pedal assist on, and I think that's just like for for safety, they do that by default. So you hold the down button, and then the pedal assist off goes away, and now your pedal assist is working, and. Um, the number right here of the pedal assist, one through five, that actually controls the speed on your throttle and your pedal assist also. So I found that out when I was riding. So if you want full throttle, full speed is on five, and I think it's 20 miles an hour on throttle, uh, 28 miles an hour pedaling. And then mode one, it's like, I don't know, like 10 miles an hour on throttle and pedal assist. So that's pretty cool. I've, I've never had a bike that, that had it set up like that before. 
Oh, so not only can they use your discount, but they also get the alarm system? Yep, it, it comes with that code, yep. And use for the code. people just joining, what is the discount? You, if you want to grab one of these bikes, you use code SHREDDY50. Saves you $50 on the bike, and on top of that, it comes with that little alarm system on there. That's thing is loud. <laughs> and that's thing is SHREDDY with an I-E. Yep. And uh, SHREDDY50. I, I forgot to, to show you guys this. Um, so the... They did start putting a sticker on this box, letting you know that the keys were underneath, but they came like this and the keys are underneath. I didn't know that. I almost like was going to take these out and throw away the whole box and it would have been throwing away the keys, but these are the keys to get the uh, battery out. But now I'm pretty sure they told me they're going to be, there's something that tells you, Hey, the keys are underneath there. Don't throw this box away. <laughs> but having a little key fob on there, like this little thing, that's like a nice added touch guys. That's, that's great to have. That's really cool. That way, I know which bike owns that. <laughs> really cool. Should I put the notification bell on? Let me find a screw. Did it, do we have any questions? Uh, yes, let me read some more. Yeah, let's do it. I'm just looking for a little screwdriver. Electric Bike Company. The little key was the extra piece inside the saddlebag. The, the key for this? Hold on. They said the key for this is in here? It says the little key was the extra piece inside the saddlebag. That's the key for, really? That's a key? I thought that was just like another like component to like put it together. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Let me see. I love switch blades. <laughs> it looks like what? It I don't even know how this works though. It's, this is great. Look at that. <laughs> I've got you. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to keep that in there so I don't lose it. The batteries are customizable, but currently we design and assemble our own batteries. That's why we give a five-year warranty. Oh, wow. Wow, that's great. That's awesome having a warranty like that on the battery. That's really good. Yes, power button controls both. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Dual motor launching in October. Ooh. Damn, I'm, I'm going to have to fly it. Well... I might be in Cal hey, ABC. I, I, I might be in California in September and maybe earlier. Um, before I head out there, I'm gonna let you guys know because I want to come visit you guys and, and try that dual motor and check out your shop also and hang out and meet all you guys. If people get a single motor now, can they add a, a second battery themselves or should they just buy the dual motor? You mean can they can people add a, a dual motor themselves? Yes. I've, I think, I think no, I think no. Electric bike company, again, it's super, super powerful. So we want all the legal systems set up as, as it's really more like a moped. Yeah. And then uh, w the way they had it set up, they had dual throttle. I, to me, I actually like that better because some, some bikes that have like the dual motor and then you hit the throttle, the front wheel will spin out and that's a little bit dangerous. So like if you have dual throttle, you can control the power on the front wheel. Like you can get it started and then if you need the torque, hit that front throttle. But that's just my thoughts on it. RV Billy, throw an army star on it, white. Yes, white one. I agree, I agree. And David Littlefield, yes, do a white star on the sides. Yes, I love you guys. Electric bike company. So as soon as all the laws and legal set up, we will officially launch dual motor option in October. Nice. What is going on with all the, uh, the laws in California, I keep on hearing they are starting to crack down on like higher powered e-bikes, uh, like Surons. talk about it. Yeah. Like I hear uh, Surons are getting crack cracked down on, um, Onyxes, Huck, all, all the, the high power bikes. Um, I was actually in Super 73 headquarters not too long ago and a guy was just rolling up trying to buy an RX or he just did, he did buy it, but he ended up selling his Onyx cause he got pulled over by the cops. I guess they, they caught him going, you know, faster than 28 miles an hour. They were going to give him a ticket or take his bike away. So he ended up selling his Onyx and now he got a super 73 RX. But I, I really want to know what's going on in California. I keep on seeing videos of things going down and e even New York, even New York. So I'm wondering what types of regulations are going to be coming. So you're installing the bell? Yeah. 
So this, you gotta kinda install it evenly. I kinda tightened up one side to, to. So that's like a bell and light, right? Yeah, bell and a little blinking light. Yeah, I like that. But you guys know I need my notification bell, so. That's why I was like, hey, ABC, let's get that bell. Thank you guys for sending that over. This thing is really cool. I like cheesy bells like this. <laughs> This right, is really I'll read cool. Some more comments. Yeah, let's read some comments. Oh, yeah. Ringing that notification. All right. <laughs> That's cool. Dig it. Dig it. Electric bike company, all rust resistant with all integrated bearings. That's right. Yeah, I said that earlier that the bearings are all sealed, right? And rust resistant. So this is going to be a great beach cruiser. I'm going to take this on the sand, on the beach, on the packed sand, and we're gonna have a blast ride in this bike through that. That's oh. gonna be awesome. But still, even though it is, it is like water and like everything sealed off, if you do tend to ride a bike, any e-bike or this bike and like around salty water and it gets on it, definitely just wash, wash it off or you can get like a soapy uh, rag or whatever and just kind of wash it all down, get that salty water off of it because that, that's no good for the components. Hold top arrow to turn lights on. Are we on? Who said that? Uh, electric bike company. We're, we'll turn them on. There we go. I get the headlight back on. And then we got little bell light on. <laughs> the chirp is the anti theft alarm system. Does it always do that when it turns on? Uh, GPS state of the art. Let's be tracking with anti theft alarm. More info on website. GPS also has an app you can download. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. The brakes are hydraulic, but also very important is it's four piston, so like motorbikes. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so this is a four piston hydraulic disc brakes. And just so you know, guys, I haven't bedded the brakes yet. Anytime you get a new uh, e-bike or when you get this bike in, definitely bed your brakes. So what you're gonna do is go about 10 to 50 miles an hour, 10 times, Grab the brakes lightly, slow down to about a mile an hour, not completely grab, lock them. Um, then after you do that about 10 times, go about 20 miles an hour about 10 times, grab the brakes a little harder this time. And then by the 10th time, just let the, uh, let the bike sit for about 20 minutes to let everything cool down and the brakes should be bedded. And every time you're, you're, you're grabbing the brakes and slowing down, you'll feel them getting stronger and stronger and grabbing better and better. So always bed your brakes when you get a new bike. Electric bike company inside the saddlebag is for the MIK racking system. Is that for that, that key thing? Oh, the key for that system. Yeah, I think it goes in here or something, right? Actually, let's see. I don't know. <laughs> I've never ever had a, a rack bag or seen one like this in my entire life, so. It's really nice. Okay. Oh, cool. Do you? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> it clicks in, but then what? <laughs> you need to read the instructions then on what? the website. <laughs> Daddy Love, that's awesome. You have a good stopping power. Beautiful. Oh yeah, I want to actually take a look at the four piston. Uh, Electric works. bike company, love to have you over in our factories and show you all assemble plants, paint shop, wheel building, etc. That would be awesome. That would be really cool. Maybe you guys would let me paint a bike one time. <laughs> Might not come out really well, but hey, whoever gets that bike, like, hey, Shorty painted this. Son DeLorean, that bike is e-radical. Loving all the extra oh, yeah, these are nice brakes. stuff that comes with it. Yeah, this is awesome, dude. I'm really loving it. I'm loving it. And like I said earlier, guys, if you guys do want like a butt suspension, you can upgrade the seat and get like an, a, a suspension uh, post if you want. But this seat is so freaking soft. It is awesome. And then the, that front suspension just feels great. Electric bike company, exactly. Dual motor with dual throttle coming soon. Hell yeah, that's gonna be great. And I'm gonna tighten up my, uh, my bars a little bit more. Yeah, Brian McCann and Loon are saying White Star. Matt White McCann. Star it is. EBC, I have your tools somewhere, but I can't find them. <laughs> the 
electric bike company. Yes, the different power levels have different laws associated. Yep. The ones on our website can be set up to be legal in all states. Double check your laws so your setup is perfectly legal. So what is the top speed that this bike can actually get? <laughs> Can we can we hack into this and make it go 50? No, I'm Dude, just kidding. Penny, nice American made parts. Electric bike company, good idea. Yes, water resistant, but try not to submerge. <laughs> you made in the US, but with global materials. But if you guys watch, uh, they uh, go to their Instagram. They have a video on how they make like all the bikes and everything um, in shop and they show you how they paint them and put them together right there in Newport Beach. They do an awesome job and they're very thorough with these bikes. Like how clean the freaking cable man is. Everyone's asking awesome. how much is the bike top speed with dual motor, dual battery and distance. So stock is $24.99 and it does, it's not going to come with the, uh, the, the extra battery, the basket. It's going to come with a 12.2 amp hour battery. And uh, I don't think it comes with the rear rack either. Um, EBC, uh, I don't know what the price of this exact build would be. Um, do you guys have that by any chance? And the so this is uh, the 14 amp hour battery here and then the 10.2 amp hour and then the custom color. Oh, I think there's some top speed with dual motor and dual battery. Hold oh, I wish I knew that. One comes out. I want to say they probably still keep the speed at 28. Russell Sonner, feature request, programmable, programmable turbo switch that lets you flip to legal firmware if you get hailed <laughs> by a cop. Right. <laughs> EBC, let's get started on that. <laughs> Brian McCann, thank you for the super chat. Oh, thank you, Brian. Again, bro. It's money to buy a hot dog. Yeah. Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll get a frappe with that. Russell Sonner, why add another motor where you could just add a gearbox? Oops. Did you skip uh, some comments? We're trying to, we're trying to cap, catch up with the comments, guys. We try to read every comment, so don't think that we're not reading your comment. Oh, and it has automatic shutoff, so I, I, it seems like maybe after five minutes, the, the bike just shuts off, so that's pretty cool. They oh, won't like- Did I read this? Good idea, yes, water resistant, but try not to submerge. Yep, you read that one. And then, yes, it's uh, made and assembled in America. Yep, with global parts. The brakes do feel really good. Like, they feel nice. E-Bike Mike, the police and money takers there's, are mad about the loophole. Loophole, no tax registration, no license. Hey, do you guys know that there's going to be a tax credit soon on e-bikes if that's happened yet? I don't even know, like, what the deal is with that yet. When are we going to be getting those e-bike tax credit, guys? <laughs> uh, math mechanic side question. Can the Aero Rider single hub have another battery mounted on it if I wanted to, to down the road? And have you done a distance on this bike with just one of the batteries? Are you talking about that, the X-Class? The X-Class, yeah, you can definitely add another battery. They have the XT60 connectors easily accessible from the controller. Like my Grizzly, uh, I'll do a, on my range test, I'm gonna add a third battery to it and I'll show you guys how to do that, it's simple. Electric bike company, yes, please come see us when you're in town. Lots of new tech coming very soon. Ooh, that's gonna be fun, yes. So there's some like big things coming up here very soon, so. I'll be in California hanging out with you guys. Brian McCann, assembled in the USA. Yes, yes sir. All EVs get electric vehicle tax credits. Yes. I wonder how much, is it like, how many percent? Like can you buy like a $5,000 bike at like two, three grand back? <laughs> ben EMTB, I wish there was like any e-bike charging stations like Tesla. Right? Yeah, they need That those. would be cool. Electric bike company tax credits would be awesome. That, we would be pushing as much as we can to. That would be so cool. Dude, that, like, like you said with the um, electric bike charging stations, imagine if they had like solar e-bike charging stations places. I think that would be awesome. What happened, dude? Low battery. Oh, low battery? Okay. <laughs> we gotcha. We gotcha. Here, we grab this. Um, oh, no, we don't gotcha. So what Hold color on. would you guys make your bike? Eddie's running to get extra battery. <laughs> the camera's dying. Hopefully the stream doesn't die out. Sorry, guys. Brussels Honor, here's an example. Tesla to NEMA, five to 15 EV charger adapter for e-bike, scooter, one wheel, etc. $198 out of stock. Oh, wow. So they do make freaking chargers that work with 
car charging stations. <laughs> David Littlefield, you can get an adapter online to plug into any level one and level two charging stations. But does it, it's only gonna charge at what, like four amps? It doesn't like charge fast. Oh, I guess it's limited by your battery. E-bike! Yeah! <laughs> Somebody mechanic. just rolled by on a fucking, oh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to cuss, on a cruiser e-bike that was just cruising. <laughs> Sorry. But I bet this one's better. I get sidetracked when I see e-bikes. I'm like, hey, <laughs> you guys know that. You guys probably do the same damn thing. Loon, Shreddy is the Jay Leno of e-bikes. <laughs> Shreddy's garage. Um, let's see. Where did I leave off? Did I say this? I think I, oh, I said, David Littlefield, you can do an adapter online to plug into any level one, level yeah, two charge. Yeah, I think that's so cool. Matt the Mechanic, at least I didn't run out of battery. Daddy Love, crimson red with yellow. Dude, go on the website, go on the Instagram, tag me, tag EBC on your story. Let's see, let's see the, the colors and, and uh, customization options and everything you guys choose. I can't wait to see what you guys got. And remember, if you buy a bike. If you guys are interested in a bike from EBC, make sure you, go, you guys use code SHREDDY50 and you get $50 off and an alarm kit with it. Brian McCann said blaze orange or neon green. Let's do it. Let's see that custom color, bro. Anaconda Hugs already got my tax write-offs. For, for the bike? Are they doing that yet? <laughs> Electric Bike Company. Cherry Red's becoming very popular and Paradise Blue. Oh, company nice. Company corporate colors with branding options for company marketing growing significantly. That's awesome. David Littlefield, limited to the amps of your charger. That's what I thought, yeah. Yeah, that's what Russell just said. You're limited by your charging system on your bike. Install a high-speed charging system, then you can charge faster. I actually learned that the hard way. I, I ended up, uh, I have a Grin Technologies charger, so you can make that thing charge up to, I think, seven or eight amps. And I didn't know my the battery that I was trying to charge could only take five amps at, at max or whatever. I tried pushing seven amps at it, blew the fuse, and the battery just stopped charging. I was like, oh no, we were like 20 miles away from home. We had to go to a boat store and find a fuse, and we ended up getting it working and charging. Got home, got a little rained on, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Russell said, if they allow you to charge, if they allow you to fast charge a bike that wasn't compatible with it, you'd see people blowing their rides up everywhere. Right. <laughs> That's a lot of magic smoke. <laughs> but with the adapters, you can charge from Vancouver, British Columbia to Ensenada. That's pretty cool. Anaconda, just put a couple food delivery apps on your phone and do a couple of deliveries with your e-bike and it's a tax deductible. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, you can write it off. You can write it off. David Littlefield, charging station requires 240 volt charger. Okay. Uh, Thanks, Russell's David. Honor, the West Coast Green Highway Initiative was completed a few years ago, so if you stay within 2 to 40 miles of I-5, you'll never get caught out. Okay. 20 to 30. Death Rock, how many e-bikes do you have now? Death Rock, oh my God. I lost, I lost count. I got a new scooter back there too, <laughs> hold on. Like 13 or 14? Yeah, it's unboxed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Russell said I mean 20 to 40 miles. Um, let's see. I can't wait to see how many miles I get on this bad boy. Math Mechanic, I used 89 fully charged in one minute. 89 amps. <laughs> Oh, Russell, he has uh, guitars also. <laughs> I'm looking for a band. I'm looking for a band. I really miss playing music, guys. All right, let's check out the bike. Should we bring it inside to see the color a little better? So yeah, let's bring it. You're getting here. attacked by mosquitoes. I'm going to swing it around, and then uh, we'll bring it inside and turn. turn the lights on. To yeah. In. I'm going to go for a cruise. Uh, you can take over the stream. You guys have a good, good, good day. I'm going to cruise on this bike. Dude, this thing is so comfortable. <laughs> I could raise the seat a little bit more because uh, when you pedal a bike, you always want your knees to be like almost completely straight, but a little bend to it. Yee. This is cool. Yeah, let's bring it in and uh, that way you can see it in the light. Oh, I forgot I got all the tools in the way. Let me just move that really quick. The tools, the tools. Maybe I could, uh, at the end of streams, I could just bring out my guitar and do like a little music set for you guys. <laughs> I 
I can't play guitar now though, my, my strings are broken, so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Russell said that needs front pegs, lower the seat all the way down and get eight hangers. <laughs> Alright, let's bring it in. EBC, has anybody ever done ape, ape hangers on this? Or on any of your bikes? That's pretty cool. Um, should I turn on the, um, the, uh, the big light? Um, can you guys see? Let me know if you guys need more light. A little bit more light. Yeah, I'll turn this one on. I'll see if I can Electric maybe... Electric Bike Company. Shreddy, you are all enough. We could also send you a Suntour suspension seat post that can make it even more comfy, like floating on air. What? I want to see that. Let's do that for Ahmad Mondays. That would be awesome. I would love that. What color do you guys want? One, two, right there. Is that better? Is that too bright? Russell said, I'm getting ape hangers for my tricycle, LOL. <laughs> Let's see that. Let's see that. Electric bike company. Ape hangers would make it difficult to connect wires. It is not recommended. Right, yeah, you'd have to get like extended wires going all the way up here. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. It'd probably be very uncomfortable riding a bike like <laughs> that would be funny. But yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, if you get ape hangers, you gotta extend the wires. Duh. I forgot, totally forgot about that. Let me get this char this charger is actually really nice quality. David Littlefield, the color of the bikes look looks better now. Oh, because you guys can actually oh. see it. it yeah, because like you're you're outside in the light. But here's that charger again, guys, that it comes with. Oops, there it is. In in frame. So it's a 3.5 to 4 amp charger. Um, and why don't you get the stuff connectors. out of the, get the stuff out, uh, stuff of, the out of here? Basket. My anti-theft. Um, oh yeah, let me show the key fob again for the people that are just joining. So it does come with like an anti-theft alarm. So if you guys do use code Shreddy, Shreddy50 for 50 bucks off and a free alarm kit. Comes with a little key fob and your little uh, EBC little key holder. Very nice little sub they got. Mosquitoes are uh, attacking. <laughs> but that's really cool. I like that. The, the alarm system is very, very freaking loud. Very loud. And I, like, I like these. I always need these things. Oh, <laughs> I didn't snippers. see them. The little snippers? Yeah, the little snippers. <laughs> always nice to have. Thank you, EBC, for that. Yeah, that's nice. They send you everything you need. We'll leave that right there. I could just show you this again. Like, it comes off. I, I got to figure out how to put this on. <laughs> Once we do, uh, we'll, we'll do a Mod Mondays and put that on. Any more questions, guys? Oh, you want me to take this off, Dee? Dee's doing sign language again. I don't understand it. Let's see. <laughs> Let me catch up on the comments. You want some water? I'm OK. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's so cool that you can put the bag on there and still stick stuff on top of it. I want to take this thing fishing sometime. Like, seriously, I think Matt, that would be a Matt's blast. singing, I can ride my bike with no handlebars. No, handlebars. <laughs> no handlebars. I wonder if this will fit on there. I like using this. This is called RoboCup. I yeah. use this to stick my fishing rods in. I wouldn't even put it on there, though. <laughs> I was just thinking of it. Like, hey, maybe if it Russell worked, that'd be so cool. That's shiny. It's a very shiny bike. It's mm. like a brand new car. It I is. Wish it's really nice. I you guys could nice. see it in person because it looks um, like really, really good. I want to like wax it. <laughs> it looks like it's waxed. I want to shine. I want to shine her down a little bit. Wax her down. Hold on. Now e I see my fingerprints e on there. Ninja said, "My girlfriend was like, you can get me that bike. Damn, this is my hobby." <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah, bike do you want to get? The rugged. So this is the Rugged series, the yep. R, and then they have other series too, like all different sizes. Like Electric Bike Company said they have the 24 inch tires if you're 5'4 or under. Model R like for that. radical. So yeah, the fact that, I mean, D can pretty much fit on his bike, uh, but she's a little bit on her tippy toes, but then she's 5'2 if he did want a smaller bike. 26 inch rims, you can turn them to 24 inch rims, so you're a little bit lower to the ground, a little more comfortable. Moon said, I wish the Suron had that charger size. Electric, right. <laughs> electric bike company, important on chargers is to have three pin plugins for safety, all standard on all our bikes. 
Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. I, I haven't seen a charger port like that before. I, I'm used to them being like, uh, where's my Grin charger? Let me see. I don't know. I'm used to them being like barrel, barrel plugs like that or XLRs. Oh, that's XLRs right here. <laughs> <laughs> Anaconda said, tomorrow you can ride the bike to Walmart to buy some citronella candles for those mosquitoes. <laughs> can you see them in here? Like, <laughs> Electric bike company. With the mic click system, you align the adapter plate installed on the bike and click it on the rear rack. I do see like little divots and stuff that goes in there. Hold on. Do you want me to try? The, all right. How many, how many likes do we have on here? 53. 53 likes. Let's hit 65 and I'll try to install the rack right now. And if not, we'll wait for a, a mod Monday. <laughs> so I, don't, I don't want to be struggling with shreddy today. I'm, it's already hot and, and uh, steamy out here. <laughs> David Littlefield, does the EBC charger offer 110 to 40 volts? Here, I'll, I'll give you all the, all the readouts on the, it's 100, 120 VAC, 60 hertz. There we go. Hopefully that helps you. And then their charge report, I'll, I'll show it to you guys again. That is that. I can't wait to get this thing charged and fully charged to feel like the, the full, full thrust of the power. <laughs> questions, questions, yeah, guys. E, e Ninja, yeah, she loves the step through. We're talking about his girlfriend. Yeah, it's like so easy yeah. to just like get on like that. And I, I love step throughs too. Yeah. They're so much easier to get on and off of. Yeah, because when Dee gets, tries to get like on her zoos, she like goes like this. I feel like I'm getting on a Ugh. horse when you don't have a step through. <laughs> and then she's like. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like with this, your leg is just like doop, in and out. Super simple. So like what's really cool about step throughs, I've been meeting a lot like more like not only old people ride step throughs, but just people that haven't been on a bike in a long time or their legs don't work like they used to. Um, they found out about step through e-bikes and that's what got them riding again. So that's what's awesome about step through e-bikes. It can get people back on bikes and just having fun out there and living life. You're almost, you're almost to 63 likes. Oh, I got to put it on there. <laughs> um, guys, pretty. Guys, pretty read, read some comments while I look at this okay. instructions um, really quick. <laughs> electric bike company meant to say align the adapter plate on the black saddlebag. Uh, the adapter plate on the... Oh, Dan, Dan, hey, do you need the basic bolt? Um, Oh, it just popped up. Look at your cell phone. For this one? Watch. They just texted you. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll check the, the text. We're on the phone right now, so. Actually, hold on, it'll be on my watch. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> hey, did you need the basket bolt? My boss is in <laughs> The ba oh yeah, the basket bolts. Yeah, I need the longer ones for the, uh, the other side. I'm missing, I think two of them might be stripped out. Yeah, so I need two, two, maybe a little bit longer of the basket bolts, like this, these ones. Electric bike company meant to say align the adapter plate on the black saddlebag. The adapter plate is, is that, no, not the key. This is the key key. That's what you guys said it was earlier. We're, we're going to do instructional <laughs> on how to install this thing. We're going to figure it out, guys. We're going to figure it out. I know we've probably already got 65 likes now. Yeah, you All right. Do. <laughs> so what's, this is the adapter plate, right? Am, am I correct? This whole thing is the adapter plate? Yeah, so they're saying align the adapter plate on the black saddlebag. You mean on the black rack? Let me see if they say anything else. <laughs> is this the back of the, the uh, does this go towards the back of the bike also? Does that go towards the back of the bike or is this the front of the bike? And then these things, do they, I guess they strap around the, the back here. They said, let's do saddle bike install video. We will send you one. Okay. okay. So just do it. Yeah. Do the video on a mod Monday. Yeah. We'll do a mod Monday. I'll watch a video. <laughs> I, I've never seen anything like this. And probably when I figure out how to do it, I'm going to be like, Oh wow, I'm I'm stupid. <laughs> you guys are probably watching me right now. Like, Oh my God, I can't believe you can figure this out. <laughs> Back to some comments. 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, Electrify Company. Important on charges is to have all three pin plugs in for safety. All standards on all of our bikes. Yep, you read that already. Sorry, I'm back. And EBC, you guys always recommend once you get the bike, get it fully charged before you go on your first ride, unlike what I just did. You're not supposed to do that. Fully charge your bike before that first ride. I just wanted to show you guys how it rode and everything. Hey, you want some water? It's hot. Master Mechanics, do you know if you had controllers that would take 120 volts, we could just wire in a plug and then program the controller to charge the battery with no charging brick? No changing brick? Charging brick, I think you meant to say. We can't have any like scented stuff around here, unfortunately. <laughs> so we get bit by mosquitoes. Or I do have a mosquito head net you could put on your on our heads. Let's, let's have I can bring them out. Do you guys want to see mosquito head net? CCCV. Awesome. Yeah, I noticed it, it did come with the extra fuses. That was really cool. So is it something like, I'm always scared to leave my bikes plugged in, like charging overnight or something. So would this be something that you could feel a little bit safer using that charger and leaving it plugged in overnight on this bike? Or is it something you still don't recommend? Camo underwear, does Electric Bike Company have any full suspension folding bikes? Oh, I'm so stupid. Guys, see, it clicks in. It literally just clicks in. He did it. It clicks in. He just it in. It literally just clicks in. It literally just clicks in. Look, can you see my hand? Can you see it? Literally just clicks in. That's badass. And now it's locked in there, though. So, oh, yeah, you push it out like that. Oh, very cool. That's freaking awesome. So how do I lock it with that key? Well, now there's 65 likes, D. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. How does this key lock it and how does it unlock it? So right now it's not locked. Here, let me, let me talk over so that I'll, I'll, swing, I'll swing the back around. Ooh. Make it a little easier for you. I love this seat, it looks that embroidery. Yeah, it does look pretty badass. It'd be cool, maybe, I don't know, this is just a suggestion. Maybe if uh, in the future, guys, let, let, let the customers do like maybe a custom embroidery we can do on our, our seats. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, like I want a Shreddy McSkate on the back. <laughs> Or shred heads, like how cool would that be? Or like even like the state of Delaware. I don't know, whatever. I don't. Delaware, I love my state. All right, so how does it, is it locked now that I pushed it? No. Okay, so um, I don't know if electric bike companies can answer that or you. Do they have folding full suspension bikes? Uh, they don't have folding bikes. I'm pretty sure they don't. But go, go to electricbikecompany.com, check out all their bikes on there, uh, come back and just let me know which bike out of all of those that you would choose. And again, let's, let's do that giveaway, guys. Uh, head over to EBC, customize the Model R in the craziest colors, coolest uh, options that you want. Go over to Instagram, put it on your story, tag EBC, Electric Bike Company, and me. Make sure you're following both of us. And uh, we'll choose like the, the best one that we like and uh, we'll see what kind of accessory we can, we can do for a giveaway. I think that'd be fun. So how does this work as a lock? Unless that's, that's what I use to just kind of push it in. Help me out. There you go. Brian is later. Anaconda hugs. That's awesome, dude. I love that. Brian said the scepter saved you pain. Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. And that, like they said earlier, you can do three batteries in the basket. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Yeah, so our, our group rides are usually between 50 to 65 miles here. <laughs> I think I, this bike I could pedal definitely 65 miles. Electric Bike Company, 
Yes, that's the adapter plate pushed into the rear rack, and the key goes towards the back. Okay, perfect. I got it on, and it, 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 it's on there strong. Like, I can literally pick up the bike from it. <laughs> Probably not supposed to, but that's a strong, strong rear rack, dude. And the bags are so sick. Love it. My Clover is on. So Mike Clover? Yeah. What's going on, Mike Clover? I hope you're having a good night. Crypto Kenny. I think that's just the, the since like it's like hard to get your finger in there, maybe the key makes it easier to, I don't know. Like, I think it's just to make it easier to push that little gray piece. If Correct me if I'm wrong, EBC. I don't know how to actually lock it out. If there is a way to lock it, lock it. So strong. We need natural stuff, yeah. Unfortunately, I had like, from our last ride, I had all these little mini ticks on me again. Oh, I hate ticks. <laughs> ticks are the worst. I know I'm going off subject, but. Like microscopic this year. Yeah, my friend got bit by the Lone Star tick. Now he's allergic to meat and he's completely deaf. So I'm definitely afraid of ticks. <laughs> Math and mechanic, he's not. He always makes fun of me, but wait till you get that meat allergy. You're going to be like, I should listen to Shreddy. <laughs> I did it, I know. I was like so like worried about struggling with Shreddy, but I didn't really struggle too much. It literally clicks in, like I said, it was gonna be something super easy and I'm gonna be like, oh my god, like duh. <laughs> Crypto Penny, love this kind of show. Very informative and interactive. It's a lot of fun and I'm I'm happy, I'm so glad that EBC is actually in the chat. Thank you guys for taking time out of your day, for joining the Shreddy Mixgate st uh, stream and hanging out with all of us here in the chat. It, it definitely it definitely helps us out a lot. I appreciate it a lot. This thing is beautiful. I did not expect the color to come out just like I did not expect the like to that. Like Jeez, the paint job is just amazing on yeah. this bike. It's really cool. Um, electric bike company, exactly. Charger has smart charging and automatic disconnect on BMX. Okay. Battery management system. Mm -hmm. So then you, you pretty much have more than one fail safe because the battery has its own BMS and that thing has its own little syst like fail safe on it. So that's cool to know. Brian McCann, she already kept us strong for 65 likes. I did it! <laughs> Electric bike company, the key is only used to unlock it. Once it clicks, it's locked in the plate. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's in there, it ain't coming out. And the screws, uh, I don't have to really tighten them up right now. I think they look good. Don, what's going on, my brother? How are you doing? How's your week going? Russell said, I'm actually thinking of grabbing a couple 26 by 2 inch rims and the Conti tires. Let's go. Electric bike company. Yes, we will launch our full suspension folding bike what? shipping October 1st. Why didn't you tell me this, guys? Oh, Thanks for letting us know. Look at that. That's awesome. Is that a first? Is that the first drop? Like, oh, that's amazing. That's a first on the channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for dropping that news. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I love folding bikes, and I just I haven't got a chance to to own one yet. So I'd love to try one of those out. That sounds awesome. David Littlefield, are the saddlebags insulated? I'll show you the inside of them. They have like a little like a like a sack inside of them. And uh, those new folding bikes, EBC, are you going to be able to do like the custom colors and everything, the same as all your bikes? Yeah, that's so nice. Oh, here's his instructions, and there's there's pictures. <laughs> That's so funny. But here's the inside of the bag. He always reads instructions last. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I forgot to do that. There's like a little uh, hole in the bottom of the bag. I guess that's for like airflow with a little screen, which is really nice. Uh, oh, the biting flies. It looks like it might be It, well, it has like this, this material all inside of it. So I'm thinking it's, it's going to be a little bit weatherproof, like waterproof. EBC, are these bags pretty uh, like little like weather resistant, water resistant? They've got to be ready to put ice and water bottles in the racks. What do you say? Got to be ready to put ice and water, water bottles in the racks. Ice and water bottles? That bike will be your grocery getter. Oh, yeah, dude. Dude, 100%. 
It's nice having all the racks or all the bags in the rack on the front. Can you now carry 50 pound bags of animal food on the bike rack? You can. Hey, I'm, maybe I'll start delivering animal food to people. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Clover, I need to find a group to ride with. Where are you from, bro? Maybe I can get you hooked up in on some Facebook groups in your area. David Littlefield, it might have foam in the sides. What? The bags. Oh, these bags? Uh, I don't feel foam. I mean, it feels like padded, like a padded material. So, yeah, maybe there's foam on the inside. There's foam on the inside. Unless your bike already saddlebags designed in Holland. Oh, wow. And yes, water resistant. Oh, okay. Very nice. That's nice. So, can I fill... Can, so can I fill these up with water and put my drinks inside? I'm just kidding. Water and ice in the bags. <laughs> Making my cooler bags. Car, Paul Cardino, looking to get my first e-bike. Should I build or my own or buy? For the first e-bike? Man, that, that's, have you even tried an e-bike yet? You got to try them out and see what you think about them. But, uh, buy it so then you would know how to build it when you go to <laughs> But building stuff is always fun, though. Building stuff on your own and actually completing it and having it working by the end of it. I've never built my own bike yet, so I don't know the feeling of it yet. Soon. <laughs> what kind of bike are you looking for? Like, what kind of riding are you looking to do? Shoot, maybe, maybe when I come visit EBC, maybe you guys will let me just, like, build a whole bike at the shop. Like, see what it's actually like to put a whole bike together. That would be a kind of a cool video to shoot. That might... I don't know how long that would take, but it'd be fun. Like, teach Shreddy how to build a complete EBC bike. Oh, Rory just said it would be cool if you put camo tires on this bike. Do they make 26 by 3 inch camo tires? If so, I would freaking love that. But I am, I'm loving the style of these tires. so nice the way it is. Like, look at, look at the tires. Like, the, it looks so cool. I love Paul the look of it. Andy and love to build. Build something like Bomber Mark Special. Oh yeah, you, you might you might want to do that. Those those look fun to build for sure. What's the Grizzly seat height? Uh, thirty three inches. And I think the lowest for this one. Let me get a measuring tape. What's the seat height? Yeah, I'll get a measuring tape. Give me a measuring tape. Oh. I I couldn't find the tape measure. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be the lowest point. Just to make sure. Yep, okay. It gets loud here. <laughs> so about 32 inches at the lowest point for this seat, which isn't bad at all. But me, I'm going to... Like I said, when you're pedaling one of these bikes, you want your knees to be like almost completely straight with a, just a slight bend to it. So that's why I'm, I like raising my seat. Electric bike company. Yes, Freddie, you can 100% build a full bike from frame in our factory. Dude, I would love that. I would freaking love that. That would be so much fun. You guys would probably make fun of me though, because I'd be like, it'd be like struggling with shredding in California and Newport Beach at EBC. <laughs> that would be Steve so much fun. Finally, Steve! <laughs> finally, a cruiser scepter with front suspension. Yes, you come here and try it out, brother. I haven't seen you since, well, like, I don't know if I've seen you since last year or what. Yeah, this bike is amazing looking in person. It's painted like a so Steve's the one that lives uh, here in Lewis, and he builds his own bikes and batteries too, man. He's an awesome, awesome dude. Alan Schmitz, tires size is matters. Depending on, on your height. These are 26 inch tires. 26 inch, so yeah, you're gonna be able to roll over things a lot easier with the bigger rims. Electric bike company, also we can show you how to paint and assemble batteries as well as make some cool wooden fenders and chain guards. That would be awesome. Oh, guys, I forgot to actually tell you guys, they do make their own wooden fenders in-house. These things are beautiful. Go to their website and just check them out. They're freaking awesome looking. But that would be awesome. That sounds like a really fun time. I would definitely enjoy that. And they said also we can show you our testing and inspecting process for quality. Nice, dude. That'd be fun. That'd be a fun video and just 
a whole fun experience learning how to actually build one of your bikes from scratch, from, from painting them to actually running all the wires through the frame and just everything. I'm, I'm excited. That sounds fun, dude. Thank you so much. Gunner CJ looks sick. Thank you, Gunner. How you doing, brother? Yeah, an electric bike company. Remember, you put 24 inch tires if needed. Yes, so if you're under five foot four. Yep. 24 inch tires. Yeah. Electric rides, great looking bike. Thank you, electric rides. I appreciate it. I really love the color of it too, and just the whole design of it. It feels really solid, very strong. Is that that's the end of the comments? So this is the Model R, the rugged from uh, EBC, Electric Bike Company, guys. Any more questions, let me know. We might end up starting to wrap this up now so I can get this thing charged and, and uh, get it ready for my first ride and review. Lebonski, why not move to SoCal since you love riding e-bikes? So many people want me to move to California. To. Like we, I, we really do want to. I have so many friends out there and just so much business to do out there. Like, I feel like I'm kind of, I don't know, I, I, I belong there, I guess. <laughs> Gunner CJ, what size crank is that? What size crank is that, EBC? Uh, was it a 58T? I totally forget. I read it earlier in, in, the, uh, in the specs. Can you tell us the, uh, the front and the rear, how many teeth are on them? Light should be mounted on the fork or the handlebars so that the lights follow the direction you're headed. 58 tooth, they said. Okay. Why don't so, you turn the lights on again to show everyone? Okay. Let me turn on the bike. So yeah, with this one, the lights are going to be stuck on the, on, on the basket, and the basket doesn't turn. But I do have that little bell light on there, so that'll go with it. It shows the bike, the front, and back. Yep. I think up is the... Electric bike company, 18T, but can also get 16T rear. That's awesome. I like how bright that is. I, I love the rear light on the freaking... That is just so yeah, cool. That's really nice. I love that. EBC, you guys did a great job on this bike. I was definitely surprised when I pulled it out of the box and I just saw the, the quality, the, the way the, the bike was painted, just, just everything about it. You guys definitely did a great job. And I can't wait to do the first ride and review and just see what this thing's all about and what it can handle, guys. Uh, definitely comment down below. What do you guys want to want me to do on this bike? What do you guys want to see on this bike? Comment down below. I think I want to definitely take it on on the beach, do a little bit of uh, trail riding and everything, and just see what it can handle. I'm, I'm definitely excited to do that. So, what's your next video with this bike? So, the next video is going to be the first ride and review. We'll go again. I even though we went through all the specs and all the com components and everything, uh, the first ride and review. I'll go through all the components that this bike has. On top of that. We'll go through all the uh, pedal assist and throttle levels and speeds and everything and, and show you like hill climbing and all that stuff. Like pretty much all my normal style review videos that I love to do. And then after the review videos, of course, we're gonna do full throttle, all battery range tests on this and see how far this bike can go full throttle 20, 20 miles an hour or maybe we'll do mode five and just full pedal throttle 28 miles an hour. <laughs> Gunner CJ, not a beach cruiser guy, but I would buy this. Yeah, this, I mean, it, it can be a beach cruiser and it can be an off-road cruiser. Like, this, this is made to be an off-road cruising beach bike. Yeah, and it has, <laughs> so, like, motorbike similarities. Yeah, right? and the frame is strong as hell, you know, nice tires, puncture resistant. Super stoked about this bike. Can't wait to do the first ride and review for you guys. Really excited. The four piston uh, disc brakes, uh, hydraulics. Uh, the fact that you can add the rear rack, the, the bag, like, dude, the whole customization, like, up to, what did you say, up to 40 amp hours of battery now in the, in the future when you do the third battery up front? Like, geez, you guys definitely blew it out of the park with this. I'm happy with it. Any more questions? Should we wrap this up, guys? Uh, Death Rocks was saying move to San Diego, California. I'm well, coming, guys. I'm coming. Yeah. I'll be coming twice very soon Lebonsky, to California. any chance to review some juice e-bikes? Hopefully, hopefully soon. David Littlefield, it's a really cool bike. I agree, David Littlefield. Electric bike company, nice wide pedals, non-slip, and motor bike grade kickstand. Yeah, the kickstand oh, yeah. is huge. But yeah, here the pedals. It's nice having a little rubber on there. I don't like the pedals with those little knobs, man, because uh, Paul Tuma took a little spill uh, yesterday on our, on our group ride. Uh, power bike. 
on his Rad Mini, yeah. Um, we were going through really deep sand and he kind of shoveled. But when you have the, uh, the little knobs on there and the metal pedals, it like literally sliced his, his, um, his shin like open. So I'm happy having those, the pedals like this with the rubber on there. It's a little more chill. They said, thank you, Shreddy, wonderful energy and vibe. Thank you guys for joining, I appreciate Gunner it. Gunner CJ, make a stop in Portland, Oregon. I will, I will. I plan on getting a, um, a transit van soon and then we're, we're gonna do some touring around with some bikes and meet a lot of you guys and do some group rides also. And guys, if you guys enjoyed this little fun unveiling and showing a, a walk around on the bike, definitely don't forget to drop a like. And if you guys are interested in a bike from Electric Bike Company, go to electricbikecompany.com, check out all their bikes. If you find one that you like and you're gonna purchase it, make sure you use code SHREDDY50, save $50 on your order, and you also get a free alarm kit that comes, that'll come with the bike, which is really awesome. Um, and also don't forget they're going to be coming out with a dual motor kit and a folding bike in October. I think that might have been a first that they, they told people. So that was on the channel of first right here. You heard it here first. Heard it live. Um, EBC, thank you guys so much for joining the live. I really appreciate that you guys took the time out of your day to come here and hang out with Shreddy and the rest of the channel. Um, and I appreciate you guys inviting me over to Newport Beach to go hang out with you and actually completely build a whole bike and, and build a battery, just everything. I'm really excited about that. I will definitely 100% take you guys up on that offer. That's gonna be a blast. Um, any more questions before we wrap this up? Guys, um, and as always, as always, if you guys aren't interested in any bike at EBC, check out all those other links down below because you might find a bike you like. Um, there's also uh, links down below for my Amazon, all accessories that I really love. So. Again, guys, if you guys enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification. I'm so glad they gave me this to be notified when I'm making videos. Dude, do you want to do the moment of silence with us? Or no, you're going to stay back there. Oh, yeah, yeah you might want to. Yeah. And are you guys, <laughs> do you want to do it? <laughs> All right. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for that subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you on the first electric bike company ride. I can't wait to, to take this out in the first review, Model R. I'm going to take this thing off-road, and we're going to rip.